Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's Centre 14 Day video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next Centre 14 Days. For this video, Day 10 will take us to the 30th of October. And we'll be able to set up beyond that with the Exeter GFS and ECM Ensembles. They are running to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. That gets into the middle of November. I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that the fifth winter update, I'm afraid we're going to have to roll that over to uh, next Sunday. So I was hoping we'd get some sort of winter update recorded today. But in the end, I had to go off into uh, Northampton, actually, to the opticians, even though I was feeling like death warmed up. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the lens fell out of my glasses, and like, I can't see a thing without them now. My eyes have got really bad, so... Um, off into Northampton I went and the day just kind of got away from me again so anyway I've had my glasses repaired so at least I can see what I'm doing now <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah we're going to do the fifth winter update next weekend so sorry uh, about that everyone just a combination of things really however we're doing the 10 to 14 day right now so please like share subscribe thank you so much everyone for uh, doing that right going to start off with the latest wind from map from earth no school.net showing that we're under a trough of low pressure at the moment so uh we've got low pressure sitting right over top uk and ireland and into that we're to pull in some cooler air from the northwest as well further areas of low pressure downstream these will be on their way in through the course of this week and eventually by the weekend uh things will be turning quite a lot cooler or colder as well Centering temperature is sitting at 12.1, that's 1.5 degrees above 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 19th of uh, October. I think that will come down quite a bit through the last uh, 10 days or so of month. It will be very interesting where that ends up, but I doubt it will be all that far above average we shall see though means of a gfs upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks we're going to london today so the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for london we're starting off around to a little bit above average of the upper air temperature but then we're coming down over the uh, next few days it will be turning uh, quite a bit cooler to colder as we move into the weekend and through to the start of next week into the beginning of november we see the upper air temperature coming back up again of course that does mask quite a bit of scatter and it's extended rain so therefore it's pretty unreliable Expectation wise, I've got uh, a lot of wet weather to come around the middle part of the week. Then we'll be turning drier at the end of the week through the weekend to the start of next week, turning drier, but also turning a bit colder, and then possibly becoming unsettled again as we move out into the uh, first week of November. Again, that is one way off, though, therefore, it's unreliable. Temperature anomalies for the next uh, five days to 25th of October, about to average, not a big deviation, 8 to 12 days, slightly above average average as is the 10 to 14 day and precipitation anomalies so what's an average in the south and the east bit drive an average in the northwest in the next seven days 27th of october 8 to 14 day a bit drive an average in the south bit wet and average in the northwest right let's start going through the all important chart data then so uh, we're going to look at the 12s there mainly i think for this update as at most of the trials there should be out at this time. However, the ECM, well, no, that won't be out just yet. So we're starting off, well, let's go a bit back a bit further, actually. So let's go back here. So a deep area of low pressure developing in the Atlantic and pushing north across England and Wales uh, from Wednesday through to Thursday. That could bring quite a deluge uh, with it. And uh, looks a bit storm of that as well. So there could be some gale force winds mixed in with that. Watch out for weather warnings. That might become uh, a name storm by the uh, UK Met in a day or so's time. Once that gets out of the way, at the end of week and into the weekend, the wind turns into the north, becoming cooler and or colder, with further troughs of low pressure digging in from the North Atlantic as we get through 168 hours. That's midday on Monday, 27th of uh, October. Looking cool and showery there. 
Icon looks like that again, low pressure clearing out into the uh, low countries from Wednesday through to Thursday, saying heavy rain, gale force winds with it. That leaves us in a northerly flow then uh, at the end of week. So into the weekend, at the end of week, becoming colder. Those northerly winds, and they might deliver a few windy showers into the north as well. That gets 180 hours with high pressure south, low pressure to the north, rather westerly uh, then. And uh, probably milder, but also a bit showery, especially so. The more northern regions. Now, if you want to look at the uh, GFS midnight run, uh, so again, we've got that deep low pushing through uh, a bit through the middle part of the week, Wednesday to Thursday, leaves, a, leaves, leaves us in a run of northerly winds into the weekend, so becoming cooler or cold. But then, wind backs into the west early next week, so it turns uh, milder then. Uh, but also unsettled with further areas of low pressure pushing through on a flat west or southwesterly flow. That's a setup by the uh, by the time we get through to the fifth of October. Very unsettled with low pressure in control and in the ascendancy. Right. Well, that's the midnight run. This is GFS six M in comparison. And again, we've got low pressure clearing out to the east. Uh, the end of the week places us into a run of northerly winds for a while into weekend then wind backs into a westerly though and it starts to turn milder uh, and becomes very mild actually uh, as deep low pressure starts heading in from off Atlantic Bear to the end of October long fetch southwesterly so very mild and stormy then those southwesterly winds that's quickly pushed aside as wind goes back into the north again uh, by uh, the 5th of November that'll be a cold bonfire night Okay, and then we've got the 12Z, looking like this. So again, that deep low moving out into the North Sea on a Thursday, taking heavy rain and potentially some stormy winds uh, with it. That low pressure clears out, leaves us in a run of northerlies, and then further low pressure pushing into the early part of next week, becoming milder with that area of uh, low pressure. So by the time we get through to uh, the beginning of December, this GFS run is turning cold. Look at this. Winds going into the north. That's a proper northerly setting up there. So that is a cold start to November. Certainly harsh overnight frost with that and probably a uh, wintry shower. That is a genuine northerly. Wow. Uh, the ice bars going all the way back into the uh, Arctic and the Pole with that and plunging down uh, the western side of Europe. Could we be shaping up for a cold November here. Hmm, interesting to ponder. So the GFS 12 set eventually finishes up looking like this. Uh, so low pressure starts digging in from uh, Iceland then, and it looks like wind's going to go back into the north again. So possibly that's going to pull down uh, another northerly beyond the 5th of November. Quite a cold and wintry GFS 12 set uh, this evening. I would suspect it's a cold outlier, but uh, there are a few hints, I think, being quite a bit of a model output that uh, renewed sort of a repeated northerly shots uh, could be on the way over the uh, coming few days. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Lovers and get them to subscribe too. We only put around 7 subscribers to get ourselves to um, 20.6k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be amazing. And thank you so much everyone uh, for uh, doing that. Right, so GM 12Z, low pressure gets out of the way to the east at the end of the week, leaves us in a run of pretty cold northerly winds for the weekend. And the wind stays in from north into the beginning of uh, next week there as well. Eventually, wind starts backing around to west or southwesterly. So by day 10, 30th of October, it's becoming milder. It doesn't look like GM would be particularly interested in pulling down northerly winds to the opening days of November there. And then finally, the ECM, and for that one, we've got to go to the midnight run as the 12Z is updated, but we'll soon be in GMT, so uh, by the end of October, we will also be able to start bringing you the ECM 12Z in some of the uh, later videos, maybe. Uh, but anyway, for this one, it's the midnight run. Winds in from the north at the end of the week. Bit of a cold snap. 
over weekend, probably be first sort of uh, genuine frost of season uh, for many of us. Then high pressure ridging through as we get through towards months M for the wind backs around again into more of a southwesterly. Now, isn't quite interesting? So, heights building through northern and west Europe there and trying to go to Scandi. Are we going to send it to Scandi here? Send it. Are we going to send it to Scandi? Well, we do develop what looks suspiciously like a Scandinavian high there. It's not actually producing much in the way of easterly winds up to the 4th of October. We'll be chilly under about high pressure, though, and probably with some pretty harsh overnight frost. But again, you know, it's an interesting trend. It's a different trend compared to some of the other model output. Most of the model output looks more northerly based, I have to say. Uh, this one is more of a Scandinavian height and type uh, scenario that seems to be hinting uh, a bit of an easterly as well. Let's have a look at the upper air temperature, see if there's any cold air sitting to our east at 360 hours. So, like, I mean, it's only early November, have got a little puddle of cold air that's sitting across much of central and east Europe, backing into Germany as well. We probably would import some of that if the wind did go easterly, sort of uh, beyond 360 hours. While we're looking at the upper air temperatures, why don't we have a look at the upper air temperatures with that uh, north? as well on the GFS 12s then. So uh, that's how the upper air temperatures look. So yeah, the minus five south side, so plenty south was there through the first week of November. Certainly cold enough for overnight frost. Wintry showers will be likely up in the north as well. And uh, so a bit of moderation by the time we get through to about the 5th of uh, November. But it looks like we're about to bring down the Dorfley again beyond November the 5th there. So very interesting model output today from a cold perspective for early November. Trends could be here or there <laughs> for a cold in November. This is precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM uh, midnight run. So lots of heavy rain <coughs> excuse me, coming into the south. Over the uh, next few days, then we're left with uh, showers along the spells of rain into the northwest, and that could turn wintry in most central regions as well. Uh, and then further wet weather coming in on the northwest southeast line to jet stream all the way up towards daytown. Looks unsettled, and you'll notice that there are some splodges and patches of green mixed in with some of that wet weather at times, especially so for the north. So don't be surprised <coughs> if again if you're on high ground and see a few flakes of snow through about last week of October. These are the options of October within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. For the Icelandic Mayor's Office gets to the 30th of October. 23 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure ridging up from south southwest, low pressure way to the northwest. Jetstream doing something a little bit like that, mostly dry and Probably quite chilly at that area of high pressure. 17 with low pressure to the east northeast. That brings in the northwesterly flow. And then we've got 11 with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, looking rather flat and westerly then. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and it will get us to the 4th of November. 13 members of the ECM ensembles with a trough right up top the country. 11 with, uh, again, low pressure right over top of the country, really, and there is northern blocking. Uh, involved with that, but change the colour, I think. Uh, yeah, there is some northern blocking there, very close to uh, Greenland. So not that far away from starting to pull some colder air into that uh, trough of low. We've got 10 with high pressure to the south-southwest. That will bring up like a southwesterly flow. Uh, we have got a further 10 with low pressure to the east. High pressure is out to the west. That probably brings in a northwesterly flow. That would be quite chilly. And then we've got 7. So we uh, could be controlling the operation. Remember, control was not well supported by its ensemble today with that Scandinavian high gear. But we've got 7 building up high pressure over northern and western Europe and sending it to Scandi and potentially bringing in an easterly flow. Uh, right, OK, well, let's just have a look at Surf Best Speed 2 and then we're done. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for tuning into this very late evening uh, video on this uh, Monday, 20th of October. We'll just finish off with this one, get it wrapped up. So uh, these are 500 millibar high tonometer broken down to week periods. The first week period takes from 20th to 26th of October. Next week, with low pressure to the east, high pressure to the west. And into that low pressure, we will bring the wind in. 
from a northerly direction, cool, cold, and potentially a bit of a cold snap going on there. Week two is the 27th of October, 2nd of November. Trough of flow to the east northeast, high pressure out to southwest. Again, that will bring in like a northwesterly uh, flow with winter showers into the north. Week three is going to be the hang on, it's going to be the third to the ninth of November. <coughs> Excuse me again, high pressure. Here's to the south, low pressure, way to the northwest. That's milder. That brings the wind up. The southwest direction, not a cold start to November, a mild start to November there, or mild early November anyway with that. And then uh, week four, though, quite interesting. So this is going to be the uh, 10th through the 16th of November. And then high pressure pulls out to the west of us. Trough of low in over Scandinavia. And that will bring the wind in from the northwest, which could turn into a northerly. So I reckon, I think that Scandinavian high idea from the east end, probably not yet. I think it's too early for that. But I think what we should be looking for over the next few weeks as we go through through uh, October into November and the first half of November up to the middle of the month anyway is like repeated northerly shots. I doubt they'll last more than a day or two but wind backs around the west again. So like so like a duel perhaps going on between westerlies and northerlies uh, through the first half of November. But could that be a poor temp of uh, things to come when we get further on? into uh the um we get further on into the uh autumn and into the winter it's interesting to ponder and we shall keep you updated okay we're done if you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe thank you so much everyone for doing that drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content and don't forget to tell your friends about gas brothers get subscribe to show everyone for doing that seven subscribers gets us to 20.6k so the uh, fifth winter update will be rolled over to the weekend so sorry about that tomorrow we're gonna have 6 a.m uk weather forecast maybe i'll see where i feel like doing that later i am very tired after having a go and get me specs sorted out and tell me still not very good but if i you know feel like it after i've had a bit of a sleep i might do six seven four cars otherwise a 10 to 14 day coming up tomorrow uh please keep checking back to the channel for more for this one that's all for now and thanks so much